So you may wonder, how did I create this? And there is a companion piece that's called Star Dancer, which is uh, sort of similar. It's, it's created a little differently, but it's the same size. So I, I, I drew the outline of the body. And uh, I worked with these pigments. These are actually from the southwest. You can find sand there that's very, very fine. So actually, I didn't grind it. And I also really love the, the roughness of, of, of the sand in there, that there are these pieces. And there may be e even a fir needle in here or a pine needle or, or something else. I then put that on. Next, I covered the body with the unbleached titanium. And then I put on the hot stamped foil, which you put on with an iron. It's depending on how you look at it and where the light comes from, it sort of has this rainbow, um, psychedelic, whatever, um, effect. And because the surface is rough, you know, it doesn't come out smooth, which is kind of what I wanted. You know, maybe the sense of, you know, it being a live body or a body that's dancing and sweating and whatever. And then I put the, uh, the, 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 the images on. It's all acrylic, except for the hot stamping foil. And I worked uh, having it on the floor. There's a funny story behind this, because I have this big deck where I do these large paintings. We had a late rainy season, so suddenly our bedroom was totally covered with paintings that I was working on. <laughs> because I had these large, several large paintings that I was working on. So suddenly I had to work inside, which was a bit of a mess. <laughs>